Hey, 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 welcome back to the channel. I'm your host, Jay Quinzel. It's time for another toy hunt. I'm sitting outside of Walmart here in Southgate. We're going to go to uh, Walmart and Target here in Southgate. Then we're going to go to Walmart in uh, Downey and finish up with Target in Norwalk. I would do more stores. I would do Ross and I would do uh, Walmart in um, Paramount. But I am in a bit of a time constraint. So this is going to be a kind of a quick video. So let's head on into Walmart and see what's going on, what's different, what's on sale, let's go! As mentioned, first off on the tour is Walmart here in Southgate. I like this Walmart, they tend to have a consistent stock and they don't have that dreaded glass. So I'm gonna head inside and see what's different. I'm not expecting to find anything new at Walmart or Target. Just want to see what's on sale and what's different. So I wanted to film in the Imaginex section, but there's this parent yelling like crazy. So I'm going to do that next. For right now, we're going to start off with the Mattel stuff. Here we have Majungasaurus Major. Let's play with it. Oh, he has a tab. He's not going to make a sound, unfortunately. And then we have the personal office, also with the tab. I don't like removing the tabs just in case somebody wants to buy these. They don't buy them with a uh, drained battery. Oh, this one has sound. Cool. Oh, what is this? What is this? No way! Oh, I found a Captain's Chaos Theory Surprise Egg! I've been looking for these! Sweet! I'm taking this! I'm taking this! Awesome! Next up, we have the Indominus Rex, the one that glows and makes sound. This one's a cool one. I love this one. And then we have Gallimimus. Another Gallimimus. Ooh, they got a little puppet store. That's cute. I like seeing that. It's a really cute one. I don't have the mama puppet store, unfortunately, because it's way too big. Then we have some color change captives. That interesting truck. We have this remote control T Rex. This one's cool. I haven't seen any unboxings of it, so I don't know exactly how it plays. It still looks cool. And then we have this uh, Spinosaurus with damage. Let's see if I can make the damage appear. How do you make the damage appear again? There we go. Yeah, look at that damage. Isn't that cool? This is the epic attack. Uh, where is it? Slash attacking Spinosaurus. Cool. And then underneath, we have ourselves the all out attack T Rex and the Mosasaurus. And then I found this set aside somewhere. And I decided I'm gonna pick it up because I've been looking for this. The chomping game with the Velociraptors, Ravenous Raptors. It's like a Hungry Hungry Hippos but with Raptors, I thought it was really cool and I would love to add this to my games collection but from here, let's over to, head over to the Imaginex hopefully that yelling guy is gone and we can check out what's going on there okay, the yelling guy is gone, we can do the Imaginex section I've been wanting to take a look at these I found this cute little Harley Quinn, she's adorable, a little small one unfortunately the pack is $20, or is it this one? I don't know what pack it is it's a little expensive, so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna see if I can find a second hand. Moving on to the Jurassic stuff though, what do we got going on here? Ooh, we got a little bumpy! A little bumpy with Ben who kicks his tail around, or her tail around, that's cute. Then we have a Dimetrodon here. What does this one do? Oh, you push down the sail and then you push the button and it pops up, cool. And here we have a Deluxe. Stiggy Moloch, what did it do? Lights up, that's cool. And then behind here, we have a deluxe uh, Gigantosaurus who also lights up. These are cute, I love these. And then we have the standard three pack with the T-Rex and the Jeep. I said standard, <laughs> it's not a standard, it's just a three pack, I don't know why I said standard. And then we have this car that has a random guys and dinosaurs and Owen with blue, a comfy, a baby Gigantosaurus and some equipment and then we have another sticky moloch this is not the light up one and behind there we have this uh entrapment pack this capture pack with the velociraptor you press the button and you can capture it isn't that cool and then underneath here we have this dilophosaurus that lights up and makes sound really cool and next to that we have this Biosyn lab, I don't want to say, I think it's Biosyn. Comes with Woo and a dinosaur. I thought it was cool. Set, probably really expensive, but it's still an awesome set. Here at the clearance aisle, let's take a quick look see 
Maybe they have something Jurassic on sale, maybe they don't, but I'm gonna take a quick look before I get in line. They got water balloons, Ahsoka. They have a bunch of these Ahsokas, Brad's, Bakugan. I should Google Bakugan and see what it's about. So they look like little balls that you just kick around like marbles. Then we got this Mickey Mouse one, Ninja Turtles. Um, I'm not seeing anything Jurassic wise here at the clearance aisle. So from here, let's get in line, buy our things, and move on. Next stop on the tour, we got Target here in Southgate. This is a fun Target. I like it because it's close to where I live, but I also like it because they tend to have a consistent stock and sometimes they have some interesting sales. Here we are coming up on the Jurassic toys. We got a lot of chaos theory going on here. So let's take a look at things. We got the Parasaurolophus here, the one that glows. So cool. Majungasaurus Major. Oh, this one doesn't make sound. Does the Ceratosaurus make sound? This one does, nice. Pachyrannosaurus, do you make sound? You do, awesome. I picked up this pack uh, when these toys first dropped and I, I picked this one up because he comes with a jacket. I think the other Ben in the Sukumaima pack doesn't have a jacket. Uh, that pack I haven't seen yet, so I don't know if it has released or not yet. And then we have this pretty cool Indoraptor that has like this evil eye thing going on. And then we got this 93 Classic Fitness Nedry with the Velociraptor the Track and Chase pack. I really like this set or this line. I said it before, but I'll say it again. That line is awesome. And then we got some minis here. The Chaos Theory minis that has the entire camp family except for Brooklyn. If you watch Chaos Theory, you will know why she's not included. And then we have the Bechtel Spinax here making some sounds. Oh, this is interesting. Look, we got Mapusaurus here. Look at the coloring. This one's kind of like beige. Above it, we got the kind of like orangish one. The person that pointed out these color differences to me um, said that the variants were uh, one in Walmart and one in Target, but it seems like the variants are just everywhere. Anyways, Mapusaurus, do you make sound? No, no, okay. Moving on, we got Claire Deering Hammond Collection. These all seem to be Claire Deerings, yes. Uh, a while back ago, I, I saw Delta on shelves. They seem to have sold out. We have this uh, Ita Sorna Expedition Pack with Dieter Stark. I love this set. I love Dieter Stark. He's such a cool character. He's such a jerk. We got this truck. And then um, above, we have some Godzilla toy. i seen the Godzilla movies and the King Kong movies. They're really cool. They're fun. I'm not a crazy fan of them. I just think they're fun to watch. And I look forward to whatever comes in the future for these Monster Burst movies because they're, they're just fun. Below, we have the Dino Trackers, Camouflage, Indominus Rex. Roar! We got a big Godzilla here. Do you do anything? What's your button? Okay, I don't know how to play with you. Try me, it says. Try me. I'm tr there we go. Oh, that's cool. All right, that's cool. Next up, we have the Tyrannosaurus Rex 93 Classic Off-Road Tracker Pack with Ray Arnold and a yellow and black Rex. I love that set. I keep saying I love it, even though you already know that I love the 93 Classic Collection. We got the Indoraptor Super Colossal. Love seeing it. I wish I could pick it up. My Menkisaurus over here. Really cool figure. I love my giant long neck dinosaurs. They have the Drenatus, Apatosaurus, Brachiosaurus, and now they have the Memphisaurus. I only have the Brachiosaurus in my collection, not the Havoc Collection one, just the regular one. But still, they're really cool. And then we have the Super Colossal Allosaurus here. They have quite a few of them. And then we have the Therosinosaurus Hammond Collection. Somebody pointed out in my comments that when I went to the to the San Diego Comic Con, to the Mattel panel, their Therizinosaurus had two left arms. That's funny. And then we have some more Therizinosaurus. And then um, Allosaurus here. Is this the only one? Seems to be the only one here. So they have one Allosaurus left. Tearing things up. And then I don't know if I pointed this out, but they have the Mosasaurus down here. And that seems to be it for Jurassic here at Target in Southgate. I'm gonna head to the car, do a quick little recap, and then we'll move on to Downey. So a quick recap. Walmart here in Southgate. 
I can't believe it. I found two things I've been looking for. The Ravenous Raptors I've been looking for for a while. I didn't know where to look for them, so I was just going on websites and looking for them. So I'm so happy I found them at Walmart. And then I found the Chaos Theory Captive Giant Surprise Egg. Oh my god, I'm so excited! Target! They had a lot of stock, a lot of stock. It was fun seeing all these toys out and about. Um, out, <laughs> that Godzilla toy, that was cool, wasn't it? How it kind of lit up and then fired the beam. Man, if I was a Godzilla super fan or just a general big Godzilla fan, I would have definitely pick that up. <laughs> From here, we're going to head over to Downey, continue the tour with uh, Walmart, and then uh, we're going to head over to Target in Norwalk to wrap up the tour. I was going to go to Walmart in Paramount, but I'm running a little late. I have a thing out I need to do at 5, so we're just going to continue the tour and head over to Downey. I talked a lot. Let's move on. <laughs> As we head towards the end of the tour, we're in Walmart here in Downey. The one with the glass, the one where they don't help you right away. The one where you have to wait like 20 minutes just to get a toy. But let's see what they got going on. Maybe things are better. Maybe things are worse. Here in the little kids aisle, they got these transforming dinosaur robot thing. They look kind of interesting. They transform into cars. Switch and go, they're called, easy to transform. They look cool. But let's see what they got in Magic wise That's not Jurassic. Here we go. We got that Sticky Moloch, or is it a Draco Rex? Oh, it's a Draco Rex, not Sticky Moloch, my bad. My mistake. Then we have Owen with Blue. They have this box here that hasn't been opened. It says Imaginex, Ankylosaurus, and Ben. Cool. I don't know why it's still in the box. Then we have that car with that guy. I don't know what to say about this. Oh my god! What did I do? That's crazy! How come I never did that before? Oh my god, so cool! Okay, this car has gone up like a two points with me. <laughs> this is just a lot of cast feature. Alright, then we have... This one is a Sticky Moloch. We got the Raptor, or the Power Raptor that bows his head. And then we got this giant Dilophosaurus that I love to play with. I just think it's amazingly cool. Unfortunately, it's very, very expensive. And we've got this set with Wu here. It's kind of like a lab. I said it was Biosyn, but it might not be Biosyn. It just... It's just a lab. I'm trying to... Oh, here we go. Hold on, let's see if do it again. So it makes noise when you twist it. Cool! And what does this do? Oh, it's plastic it all. They put plastic over it. All right, from here, let's go over to where they have the Mattel stuff. Ah, uh, isn't this cute? They got a sleeping Squirtle, I want to say. They got a bunch of these Pokemon fluffy toys, but let's see what they got Jurassic. Moving on, they got... So, they still have uh, quite a bit of chaos theory going on. They also have some leftover Dominion, like the Genodectoceros with the battle damage. And this uh, Trociraptor, I think that one was from Dominion, even though it doesn't have a Dominion logo, it came out during that time, I want to say. Then we got Majungasaurus Major, I can't play with these unfortunately. Pachyranosaurus, Gallimimus, and a baby Apatosaurus, oh that's so cute. And they're on sale for $8.47, is that the regular price or is that a sale price? I'm not sure. Then we have the Beckle Spinax, that might be the regular price, so all these tags look the same. We got the Mapusaurus, Minis, a bunch of Minis. I never confirmed with Collect Jurassic if they posted the code for the Mini. I should do that. Anyways, they have a bunch of plushies, a blue and a T-Rex. Underneath, they have the Spinosaurus with the damage. I think it's a cool Spinosaurus. I'm not going to pick it up, but I think it's a cool Spinosaurus. The Rumble Cage. Oh, that was so much fun to play with. Allosaurus. It's kind of annoying that I can't play with these toys and show you what they do. <laughs> like a Baryonyx. And we have the T-Rex with the all-out attack. And then Indominus Rex with the camouflage action. Mosasaurus. That truck. And then we got some squishies. Alright. So, you know, nothing really different. They do have quite a bit of stock. From here, let's head over to the clear aisle and see what's going on there. What's going on in the clearance aisle? Do we have any Jurassic? We'll see. We have Sheetor, Ahsoka. 
I thought Soka was a popular character. How come I see a lot of your toys on sale or not being bought? Anyway, if we have these Spark plushies, Young Jedi, Marvel, those aren't Jurassic, Flowers, Axe Toss, interesting, Puppets, more of those squishies. Oh, we have dinosaurs here, but these are five surprise building hunt trap super dino surprise dinosaurs. Interesting. Then we have ourselves Paw Patrol, more Ninja Turtles, Batman down here. All right. So they have a lot of toys on sale here in the clearance aisle. They got wrestling, some Optimus Prime mask. Adorable from Wish. They have this dinosaur robo alive. Fire buds. I'm not seeing Jurassic, but I'm seeing a lot, a lot of toys. This is a creepy doll. I would not like to see that at night. Anyways, bounce buddies. Oh, these are cute. You sit on them and you bounce around. Oh, adorable. Are they all dinosaurs? That would be cool. Ooh, they're a little heavy. Cute. Anyways, we have this house. And we got more kids toys, Star Wars, and that seems to be it, yeah. Alright, last stop on the tour, we got Target here in Norwalk. This one is a fun one. Uh, it's kind of like the one in Southgate. They have uh, quite a bit of stock, so let's head inside and check it out. Here in the Jurassic World section, we have quite a bit of selection here. So they do have quite a bit of stock. So let's go through these a uh, one by one. We got the Parasaurolophus here. Oh good, it doesn't have a tab, so it makes sound. Awesome. We have this Indoraptor mask. Does it work? Yes, it works. It sounds cool. Pachyrhinosaurus, it has the tab. I'm not gonna pull it out. Underneath we have Indoraptor, the one that lights up and makes sound. That's cool. We have the Chaos Theory Ben Escape Pack. I like this pack. I like this Ben figure. And then we have a bunch of Hammond Collection Claire's again. Not seeing Delta today, but sometimes I see them. And then we have this Calosaurus here. Makes noise. Cool, cool, cool. Now, this is a variant, a box variant. As you can see, this is Jurassic World Epic Evolution, but it's very normal. I saw down here, if I can move these things aside, they have the Epic Evolution Allosaurus, but as you can see, it's Chaos Theory branded. So if you're collecting box variants, this is one to pick up. Anyways, we have the Therodino Hammond Collection. They have a lot of them, a lot of them. And underneath, we have the Indo Raptor Super Colossal. I always say it, and I'll say it again, I love this Super Colossal. We have this truck here. This doesn't do anything special that I missed out on, like the other one, the Imagine Next one. No, it just lifts up. Okay. Now let's go down here where they have this Star Wars thing. Behind it, they have the real feel. Let's see if I can get a better shot. The real feel electronic T Rex from the 93 Classic line. Really cool to see it. I wonder why it's hidden. Over here, let's see. Let's see. We have Nedry. We have Claire, but the Spinax. Spinax, I'm glad I picked this one up. I really like this figure. Bahadasaurus is one of those that I'm not gonna pick up, but I really like. And then we got the Mapusaurus. This one's more of the yellowish variant. And then over here, we got Momenkisaurus. And then we got some King Kong love here. We got Kong. And underneath, let's wrap up with the United 3 Classic Collection Tyrannosaurus Wreck Off-Road Tracker Pack with Ray Arnold and the Yellow T-Rex with the Jeep. I'm so excited for the reimagined Carnotaurus. I missed out on the pre-order window because I forgot. So hopefully I run into it in a while when it releases. So before we head home and open up the things I got, let's do a quick recap. So Walmart and Downey, uh, kind of like the same old thing like always. Uh, not much has changed. They moved some of the Chaos Theory into the glass case. Um, but yeah, it's kind of like the same old, same old. I still like going to the Walmart just per chance that things have changed and things are different. But it seems like every time I go, it's kind of like the same old thing. I look very disappointing. Uh, Target here in Norwalk, they had a lot of stock, a lot of toys for Chaos Theory and such. Um, like Walmart, not a lot different. But that's mostly because not a lot has released uh, in, uh, this month. 
I think the releases are next month. Uh, somebody mentioned that in one of my comments, I think. But uh, yeah, currently, I don't think there's any new releases. So that's why I say I'm looking for something different, not new. Because I'm just hoping that there will be sales or just like some stock that I haven't seen before. But today, it seems like it was a lot of the same. From here, let's head on home, open up the things we got, and take a close look at that Captives. I'm very excited for that Captives. I'm glad I found it. All right. Even though it was a short hunt, I consider this a very, very successful hunt. I'm very excited to get into the things I just bought. So let's start off with the bigger item. We have ourselves the Jurassic World Dino Chomping Game Ravenous Raptors. Because with the, the, the Raptor Squad, I can't remember the word squad for some reason. And here is the side. I've been wanting to get this game since I saw it announced and I did not know where to go to find it. Um, it's something that I've been wanting to play with my family. So this will be a good one to open up and take a closer look at. But yeah, I was not expecting to find this at Walmart. I did not know this was going to be at Walmart. I did not know where this was going to be at all. So let's crack it open and take a closer look. All right, we're gonna, it seems like we're going to do this in sections. So here is the base plate. It has a Jurassic Park logo in the four areas where you place the Raptors. Okay, now let's get the rest. Lots and lots of pieces. This is one of them, one of the Raptors. It seems to be missing the mechanism that makes it bite or something. I will take a closer look at the instructions and then piece this together. Here is a look at the other Raptor. Honestly, I do not know the diff how to tell the difference between um, Beta, Charlie, and, and um, Echo. And Echo, yeah. I activated my Alexa device. <laughs> Silly me. Here is another of the Raptors. And lastly, we have Blue here. So we have all four of the Raptors from the Raptor Squad. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna piece this together and show you the complete thing, the complete game. All right, so I pieced it together and here is the Ravenous Raptors game. It's basically Hungry Hungry Hippos, but with dinosaurs. I do wanna point out that some things, some defects that I noticed uh, as I was opening the packaging, some of my fencing has little crease, not creases, but stress marks on the plastic as if it were bent. That wasn't me, that was at, that was like before I took it out of the packaging. So I'm not sure if that's a quality control issue or just happened inside the box, but no biggie as I won't be paying attention to that at, when I play this game. I'll be trying to get as many of these balls as possible. Basically, that's all you do. You try to gobble up as many of these balls, they call them snack balls, and you just try to eat as many as possible. Now, I haven't read the rules yet, so I don't know if there's a different scoring system for the green balls and and if I can grab one, the red balls. I'm not sure if there's different points for them. It would be kind of cool to add that as a, uh, as, as a tweak to the rules if it's not available already in the rules. I was very excited to pick this up. I used to love Hungry Hungry Hippos as a kid. That was a really fun game. Just to slap on these and then... Um, try to eat as many balls as possible. It was very competitive, but it wasn't like that competition where you try to fight each other. <laughs> no, no, no. It was very fun, basically. Very innocent fun. All right, let's move on to the captive's egg because I know that's what you all want to see. I know I've been talking about it for a long time. Well, yeah, somewhat of a long time. So let's crack into it. Okay, something happened with my phone. It started vibrating. I, maybe I got a message or something, but it stopped the recording. Hopefully, I captured everything up to this point. I uh, opened this up. There was some slime. I opened up the egg. There were some stickers, and then I did the pamphlet. I, I'm going to review the footage later. If I miss anything, I'll just do it post uh, this. Now, let's open up the next piece. We have ourselves the prehistoric sand. Don't want to mess up and cut the dinosaur. Here's a look at the sand. It's a kinetic sand. The one that is like really cool but really messy. Let's take that out and set it down here. There we go. Take that all off. Gross, gross, gross. I don't know. I'm not a big fan of these uh these 
textures. <laughs> I know some people like it for, uh, uh, what do you call it, ASMR reasons or whatever, but I'm not a fan of these textures. There's Bumpy's head. Next up, we have the volcanic slime. A little incision. Open it up. Ew. And inside we have Bumpy's tail. So what I'm going to do, I am going to... Uh, I'm going to take these out of the slime off camera because if I try to do it on camera, I'm going to make an incredible mess. So I'll be right back. Well, poo, I did run into some technical issues and the recording stopped right after I opened the Ravenous Raptors and pieced it all together. So we did not see the unboxing of the egg. I'm so disappointed. I'm so upset. I don't know what happened. It just stopped recording all of a sudden. Anyways, here is what I got in the egg. It was bumpy, a beautiful figure, nice and large. It's very well detailed as most captives are. It looks amazing. And then it came with this egg. I mean, with this card featuring bumpy fighting, a, I want to say a Trociraptor. That's a cool card. And on the back is a piece to a puzzle. Now, Let's see the other things that was that came with the egg. That way, you can at least take a glimpse with me. Uh, here's the egg itself. It's orange, has captives, has a lenticular eye, which is cool. I believe all of the surprise and mega eggs from the captives have uh, that eye. I could be wrong, though. It also came with these stickers. Lots of cool stickers. The Chaos Theory logo. logo. These things that look like patches, uh, bioluminescent parasaurolophus, epic evolution, um, razor sharp teeth, a broken egg, Darius, and Bumpy. I love my stickers. I love my stickers. We got a Jurassic World logo. We got the captives uh, logo, I guess, also. Big Rock National Park, and Allosaurus, parasaurolophus. That green one, oh my god, it's escaping me. It's not Nasoceratops. It's not Pachyrhinos. I can't remember which one it is. Triceratops? Is that Triceratops? Maybe? Sorry, you're going to grill me in the comments. I know. I'm not a dino expert. I'm sorry. I used to be when I was a kid. That was a long time ago. Anyways, Department of Prehistoric Wildlife and Live Dinosaur Handle with Care. I love the last one. I kind of want to put that one on my computer. Now... Let's take a look at all the options that we could have received in this egg. First off, we got the Tyrannosaurus Rex. That's a cool one. I think I have a T-Rex from a different different uh, surprise egg from a different line. Uh, I, I think I have one. Then we have Bumpy and the Pyroraptor. I would have uh, liked to get the Pyroraptor if, if it wasn't Bumpy. Out of all of these, the, ones I, the one I really wanted to get was Bumpy. So on the back, it shows you all the smaller captives, the ones that come in the small eggs. I got the rare uh, last time I opened up the smaller captives. I got the rare uh, bioluminescent parasaurolophus. I was so excited. And um, that was my goal. So I haven't bought captives since until I just bought this giant egg. Well, that was the video. I hope you enjoyed it. I'm sorry about the technical difficulties. I'm sorry you couldn't see my genuine reaction when I first opened the egg. I mean, it wasn't anything great. I was just like, oh, wow, that's cool. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know me, how I react to things. I am your host, Jay Quinzel. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more from me, don't forget to subscribe. I will greatly appreciate it. I My hand has a bunch of bits of slime on it. <laughs> Uh, and try to stay cool. Summer's almost over. It's starting to cool down. I'm so excited for school uh, the day after tomorrow. Well, Monday, should I say. Oh, yeah, I got a special video coming on Monday. It's a compilation of three of my greatest Jurassic World moments, my experiences. Uh, my top three is a compilation. All right, that's enough talking. I'm your host once again, Jake Wenzel. And when you gotta go, you gotta go run to the bathroom. Bye!